Suns lose a tough one at home to the Huntsville Stars tonight, a final of 3-1. to one. And Skip, you left the game in the seventh inning after a very close play at first base. What did you see and how was it explained to you when you went out onto the field? Um, I thought Noah beat it out. He did a great job putting the ball in play right there. Two strikes, hit the ball deep in the hole. The shortstop made a great play. I mean, no question, made a great play. I thought he beat it out clearly. I don't know if I'm right or wrong. I haven't seen a replay. Um, but I thought he beat it out clearly, and I was really frustrated. I didn't really allow the umpire to explain much because I thought he blew the call, and I really wanted the run at that point of the game, and I was frustrated by it. So, And it ends up being a huge run because of the way Taylor Youngman pitched tonight, a very highly touted prospect in the Brewers organization. What was he doing to keep your hitters off balance? Man, he, he threw strikes. I mean, he pitched a great game. It was it was a well-pitched game. It was a fun, fun game to watch. Uh, they matched up uh, Jay and, and uh, the kid from, from Huntsville really threw the ball well. It was just, you know, that's why, you know, I got a little frustrated there because I really wanted that run. I knew it was, it was going to be tough to score runs against him the way he was pitching. And to be able to, um, you know, get that run in right there, I thought we had it. And it was, you know, frustrating. I lost my cool a little bit. And you mentioned Jay. At one point, he retired 19 hitters in a row. Yeah. In a season that has seen him make a lot of good outings, this might have been his best. Yeah, he pitched great. I mean, gave up a run early. Willie really wasn't throwing the ball well early. But they started coming out better later. And he started making pitches later. And, uh you know, he, he, was, he was outstanding. It's a game you really want to win with, with a starting pitching performance like that. And finally, do you have any update, any change on Jake Mresnick today? He's feeling better. Uh, you know, we'll see how he feels tomorrow. We'll, he'll, I think he'll be back in the lineup maybe by Sunday, if not uh, on the first day in Mobile. And, I, and he's actually a, a possibility for tomorrow, depending on how he feels. Okay. Andy, thanks for your time. All right. Thank you.